All right, you guys, it's time to put the second coat of paint on this beautiful piece. Um, dry time, okay? Uh, it can take anywhere from like 15 minutes to an hour for an average piece to dry. Now, that's a pretty big range, but things that affect that time, drying time, are weather and humidity, how big the piece is, um, and how thickly you put the paint on. So it dries quickly. Uh, this piece probably dried in about, I don't know, 35 minutes or something like that. And you can tell when it's dry, you can see the wetness gone. You can feel it. So what we see here, to sort of reinforce my point from earlier, is that it's not 100% coverage, and I wasn't expecting 100% coverage. And so we always know we're gonna do two coats. Um, so you can paint the second coat just as soon as the first one's dry. Now, that said, I'm going to be distressing this piece, so if I were to accidentally distress it because I didn't wait very long for the paint to dry, that would be okay with me because I'm going to be distressing it anyway. If you want zero distressing on your piece, give it at least two or three hours to dry solid, okay? Um, because what happens is we're going to put a more paint on and that paint's going to be diluted a little bit with water and that process there can actually distress and remove some of the paint. So the drier your paint is, the less likely distressing is going to happen when you put on your subsequent coats. Okay? Alright, so here's what we're going to use you guys. Um, we're going to use of course our paint and our brush and our sponge that we used last time, but I've added one more thing, actually two more things to the mix. A cup of water, and I brought out a sander. So if you want to sand between coats, that is 100% optional, okay? You can, or you don't have to, it's up to you. If your paint job came out a little rough, in any spots, then you might want to just sand it lightly between coats. Um, if you want extra smoothness on the top, maybe, then you might sand lightly. So when I say sand lightly, I mean use a very, very broken in, worn out sanding sponge that has hardly any grit left, okay? Now I'm just going to sand the top of this very lightly just to show you, and also because there was a little section here where I went back over my paint as it was drying, and it got a little tiny bit of texture. So to get rid of that, and don't let this freak you out when you see these lines and stuff, okay? Go one direction. And our objective here is not to distress the piece, but just to sort of smooth out that coat of paint before we put the next coat of paint on. I don't know what happened here. Just a tiny, tiny little bit of texture from the paint, no big deal. And especially by the time we go to distress it. All right, so that's all I'm gonna do. If you wanna do your whole piece, sand in between, you can. It's up to you. Sometimes I do hardly ever though, only if I'm going for a really, really smooth finish usually. So I'm gonna put my gloves back on and go for my second coat now. So this is where the water comes in handy because unlike your first coat where you don't have to do any water on your brush or your sponge, when you're putting second or third coats on, any subsequent coats, okay, uh, now we're going over a very different kind of surface. It's very chalky and gritty. And if I just put the paint right on with my brush or my sponge, it's going to drag a little. It's going to fight me a little, you know? And it's going to be kind of hard to get it on there and it's not going to want to be smooth, okay? So, if you put a little bit of water, and I like to do a cup, you can do whatever works for you, some people like a mister bottle. I just like to just have a little cup here. So I'm putting just a little bit of water on my sponge, not too much. And then I'm gonna dip that sponge right into the paint. And this is messy and that's why I wear gloves. <laughs> so now the paint on the sponge is diluted 
and when I go to paint with it, it's going to just glide on like butter. No drag, no resistance, just mm, nice smooth painting. Kind of getting around the edges here. Now you do need to keep in mind that now the paint's a little bit thinner, right? So you're going to be a little bit more likely to get some drips or runs or puddles. So you just have to be a little bit aware of that. But it's a beauty. It's a thing of beauty. I love the sponge and the water really helps to smooth it out. So then you, know, you just kind of repeat that process, being careful not to do too much water. If you get too much water, just kind of rinse out. You wring out your sponge a little, dip it back in. You know, not too much. Keep going. I'm gonna come around this way and get this part right here. So easy, you guys. And because I'm distressing, I'm, I don't need perfection in my paint job. That is one of the reasons I like to distress. <laughs> it's more forgiving. If you get a nick or a chip, um, or you get a drip or a run, or you miss a spot, it's just so much more forgiving, you guys. Now, I like that. Because I'm not perfect, you know? <laughs> this process is not perfect. Okay? Just kind of do the fronts of the piece here again. Just a little bit of, little bit of water. After a while, if your sponge gets too saturated and gunky and mucky and it's a hot mess, just go rinse it out in the sink. Just rinse, 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 rinse until it, you know, is pretty clear and then start the process again. Because it does get that way after a while. A little bit too loaded up with paint and water. So easy, you guys. It's just as easy as I make it look, believe me. And then at this point, I might want to take my brush and just dip the tips a little bit in the water, not too much, kind of wipe off the excess. And then swish it around a little bit in the paint, not too much, wipe off the excess. And then just kind of get in these crevice parts here that the sponge has a little harder time getting into. You know, the corners. And like that. Okay? And then I might just smooth it out again with the sponge. Just to kind of smooth it. Because I like to do that. <laughs> All right. Now I'll carefully turn it. And Get a nice close-up shot of this side here. Again with the sponge, a little bit of water. And you know, a bowl probably is a little bit better than a cup. I just didn't have any handy, but a bowl, a little plastic or paper bowl works really great for this. Wash it on. Smooth, get the top. And I'll get down in there with the paintbrush. Again with the water. A little bit, just a little. Paint, just a little, not too much. Kind of just get down in there. <laughs> I know I'm gonna, I know I'm getting paint on the sweater. It's looking good, but I like the sponge. Doesn't leave those, it just is a little smoother finish, a little smoother. All right, so, we're going to let that one dry really well before I put any top coats on. 
And again, at this point, so I've got a little bit of pooling, uh, just a tiny little bit in the uh, detail. So I'm just going to sort of dry off my brush, the tips a little, so it's kind of dry, and kind of just mop up those little areas there. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're going to let it dry. I'll paint the back, of course. Um, let it dry. Bye, guys.